welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Yeager for those of you who are new here. This is my updated Lululemon haul. I do one of these once a month. Thank you Lululemon for sponsoring these videos. I know you guys enjoy them just as much as I do. I try to always include items that you guys have asked me to do try-ons with and review. And we got a lot of things to talk about today. I feel like this honestly could have been like a fall favorites video, but so many of the items were new and I didn't know they were gonna be a favorite of mine until I tried them on. So there's a lot of winners in here. It's basically all tops and then one jumpsuit that is very, very cute, but we will get into that. Per usual, I will have everything listed and linked down below my sizes and then all of the items individually linked so it's easy for you to find them. So yeah, let's get right on into it. We have a lot of cute fall layering items that I think are gonna be great staples for the season. Starting off with the bras, I only have two. One of them I have already reviewed, but it came out in this new beautiful Terra orange color. And I'm so excited to get matching bottoms. I just am telling myself in my head they have to be coming out with matching bottoms because matching sets are so big right now. They don't have these in aligned pants yet, but I am really, 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 really hoping they bring it out because I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's like a deep clay, reddish orange. I don't know, I'm here for it. It must be shown with a Wonder Train bottom. Anyway, this is the Wonder Train Strappy Bra Light Support AB Cups. I tried this in the past, like I said, I think I included it in one of the previous try-ons. I got a size six before. I am pregnant right now, everything's a little bit bigger. My chest has definitely grown some, so I decided to go with a size eight. And any bra that is a Wonder Train material or a more like high intensity material, they tend to fit a little bit tighter, especially around my rib cage. I tend to have a wider rib cage as is. So I'm really happy I got the eight. I feel like it fits more comfortably than the six, but not big enough to where it won't fit me when I'm not pregnant. So regardless, I have sixes, I have eights. <laughs> the eight fit me really well. I love the overall look of this because it is a Wonder Train bra. That means that it is the Everlux material. So if you've tried the Wonder Train leggings, those are the Everlux material. It is their fastest drying material. So although it's a light support bra, this is gonna be great for high impact workouts. Even being a little bit bustier right now, I feel like this offers enough support to where I'm held in place. If you're doing a ton of jumping and have a really big chest, you would probably want a medium to higher support bra, but it is their fastest drying material. Very comfortable, still very silky smooth. And I just love the minimal straps on here. And once again, the color. It's perfect for fall. This next bra, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it because I love the Leica Cloud bras. Love them, they're so comfortable. That's actually one of my, like if I had to choose five favorite items from Lululemon, like I think a Leica Cloud bra would be in there just because I wear it all the time. I wear it daily, it's great. If you're not pregnant, great if you are pregnant, great great for breastfeeding, just phenomenal, very comfortable. But I'm not a fan of long line bras. I just wasn't sure how I was gonna like the whole look of this. This is the Leica Cloud Strappy Long Line Ribbed Bra Light Support B2C Cups. I actually think it's really cute. I don't personally think I would wear this to work out and like wear this just by itself. I do see myself wearing this a lot around the house when I am breastfeeding again, but who knows? It did provide enough coverage and looked really cute. So I feel like I could have worn like what I tried it on with to the gym and been totally fine. I paired it with the super high rise Align six inch shorts. So that's why less of my midsection was showing. That's why my shorts came up so high. Um, so the long line paired with that, I felt like was a good combo on my body right now. But I did stick with a size six. So technically like my true size, the six fit really well. If you've tried the Leica Cloud bra before, you know how soft and comfortable it is. It's very stretchy very light support. The long line always makes it a little bit tighter on me. Once again, going over my ribs. That's just how any of the long lines fit me, which is typically why I don't love them. I normally just like the regular bras. This one I feel like I'm making an exception for. Very cute. I love, I'm always a fan of the strappy bras. I just think they're really cute. And because I am not that busty, they work really well for me. I also love the bone color because it goes with everything. Once again, really nice for fall as well. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna like this and it exceeded my expectations. Very comfortable, very cute. And I didn't mind the long line part, which I normally don't love. Moving on to tank tops. I was so excited to try this first one. I need 
basic tank tops right now. Once again, going into fall, lots of layering. I wanna be able to wear tank tops underneath cardigans and stuff where my belly isn't hanging out. Cropped items aren't looking as good on me right now. It's just awkward. So I was really excited to try this. I've tried some of their hold tight items before I have a long sleeve that I really love from last year. It's a full length long sleeve, very comfortable, very stretchy. So I wanted to try a tank top and this is the hold tight square neck tank top. Once again, I tried it on with those super high rise shorts. I think even if I were to wear it with regular high rise, it would still fit really well. My stomach wouldn't be showing at all, but it's just so lightweight, so comfortable. Um, I did put this over a, like a cloud bra that has the two straps so you could see a strap. I think if I were to wear this, I, ideally I'd honestly probably dress this up for like when Chris and I go on date nights or just out and about and I wanna dress up a little bit more, I would probably just wear a strapless bra with it. But like it is so stretchy, so lightweight, so comfortable. Um, I got my size six, which once again is my true size and I thought it fit great. Very lightweight, so it does kind of have a little bit of like sheerness to it. I would definitely wear a lighter color bra, um, but I liked this a lot. 10 out of 10, basic item, great for layering, great for putting underneath cardigans, sweaters, whatever. Um, and I, <laughs> I need more basic things like this that are a little bit longer, especially during pregnancy. And like during the winter, I don't necessarily want, or fall and winter, I don't want much of my stomach showing anyway. So I feel like this is the perfect length to go with high-waisted bottoms, even if you're not pregnant. Um, it's more of like that waist length. This is definitely not a fall color, but I couldn't pass it up. I thought it looked so cute and they have so many greens out right now and I think they match really well together. So this is their mint moment color. Yeah, mint moment. Um, I have reviewed this tank top a long time ago. I have many of these. I love them and I wanted to include it because I feel like these don't get enough attention. They are great. This is the Ebb to Street tank top. It's obviously full length. I know crop tops are big right now, but in terms of full length tank tops for working out, this is one of my favorites. I always wear these for cardio days. They have the built-in bra. So it's just a one-stop shop, which is really nice. <gasps> you look beautiful! <laughs> you look so cute! Lovely, lovely. I don't know if that's perfect, um, but our dog just got back from the groomer and she looks adorable, first of all. <laughs> but she like hit the camera and it moved. Anyway, Ebb to Street tank top, one of my favorite full length tank tops, especially good for sweatier workouts. I also love the cool racerback tank tops. Those don't have a built-in bra though. So the main reason I love these, it's just like a great basic, simple workout tank top. Has the built-in bra, very minimal straps, just like very simple, comfortable. The only thing with these, and it doesn't bother me, but I feel like I should mention it because it might bother some of you. With the lighter colors in particular, I just wore the white one earlier this week. I also have a light pink one. Um, you can kind of see the bra underneath it, especially if you're gonna wear it with like darker leggings. Once again, doesn't bother me, but it is a little bit sheer just cause it's a thinner material, but it has that seamless fit to it and overall a more tight snug fit. Great for workouts, great for cardio. And I just wanted to include it in here because I get a lot of questions about full length tank tops because everyone talks about cropped. And especially right now I have a great appreciation for full length. <laughs> um, and this one I just feel like is underrated. Every time I wear it, I get questions about it and they came out with this color and I had to snag it. So I figured why not include it? I still get a size six, fits really well. The bra on the inside also has that seamless fit. If you've tried any of the Ebb to Street bras, it fits similar to those. So it has the seamless hem on the bottom or like the seamless band. And I just think they're very comfortable. Just like all of their bras and tank tops that have built-in bras, they do have the removable padding. So if you don't want the padding in there, you can take it out. Last tank top I have to review. I have tried this before, but it's been a long time and they've definitely made a lot of changes to it. This is the Love tank top. I have one, I have a ton from when I used to work there, but we're talking like over five years old. They used to have a much bigger scoop. They were a little bit thinner. 
longer. This one is a little bit more oversized. It's a size six, but I wanted to try it because I wear my old ones all the time and people ask if I can link them and I'm like, here's the link, but I don't know how similar it fits anymore. Now I know. It's still very comfortable and stretchy. It is like the basic cotton, basic stretchy cotton tank top. Um, so there's not a ton to say. It is still full length. It's a more oversized fit and it does still have that scoop on the front and bottom. Not anything like the old ones. If you've seen me wear them or if you've tried them on before, the old ones used to be really long and it had like a pretty dramatic scoop in the front and the back. This one is a little bit more subtle and more flowy. On me, it's a little bit tighter because of the belly, but I just think this is a great, once again, like layering piece or just to be comfortable and have a full length tank top on. But I think putting a little cardigan over this would be really cute. All of their basic items like this come in lots of colors. So if you want basic colors, they have those like neutrals, but they also have fun colors if you're looking to spice up your outfit a little bit. But I got a size six. I definitely think these fit very true to size, especially because they have that oversized fit. It's just like a lounge comfy tank top. Moving on to jackets, I have a lot. One, two, three, four, five. Jackets, pullovers, whatever you wanna call them. Layering pieces. And this is definitely one of my favorites. I have it in two colors now. I got the black first and then I, ha or no, I got the blue first and then I got the black. I've already worn the black multiple times. Emmy got yogurt all over it, so it's in the wash right now. The black has a gold zipper, like gold details is very cute. But this is the Define Relaxed Fit Jacket in Luan. This is the color pitch blue. Um, I paired it with the matching aligned shorts, which I thought was very cute, a very cute matching set. Um, I got my true size six in this, it fit very well. I wasn't sure I was gonna like it just because with like the flowiness of it, if you've tried their Luan material before, it is like their OG material. What the groove pants used to be made out of, like a thicker cottony material. So I wasn't sure it was gonna be comfortable, but the nice thing is this like front part is Luan, so you can kind of see a thicker material up here, but then the sleeves in the back are actually a really loose windbreaker material. If you tried their Sunsetter joggers, it has that similar feel to them. So the back, like the reason it's so flowy and drapes really well is because they included that really lightweight windbreaker material and I love it. Obviously, I got it in two colors. Also going back to the fact that I have to have <laughs> enough material to cover my belly these days, this is just really nice. And I don't have many full length flowier jackets for them. Most of my jackets are like the oversized scubas that are cropped, um, which with high waisted bottoms isn't that big of a deal. But I think this is my favorite full length jacket right now. They call it a hip length. Um, the nice thing is too, if you do want it to be cropped, you could, it has the little uh, draw cord at the bottom so you can tighten the bottom band. I personally don't like, cause it is really over, it is very flowy. So if you tighten those, I feel like the zipper kind of makes it stick out a little. I personally will always keep those undone. But yeah, Define Relax Fit Jacket. Very, very cute, fits true to size. It's available in four colors right now. And I just think it's a great layering option for the fall and the colors they have available, they have in matching bottoms. Matching sets are all the hype right now. Very cute, specifically the pitch blue outfit I thought was adorable. I already reviewed this on my Instagram and I already, I actually paired it with this hat. We'll talk about this in a second, but I just thought it was a really cute outfit. And like I said, I wore the black one, I think three times this week already. So definitely a favorite and gonna be a staple this fall for me. This next item, I, Either thought it was gonna be like a, I absolutely love it, or yikes, that's a hard pass, doesn't look cute. And I think it's a winner. I don't think, I know. I think this is gonna be one of my favorites this fall. Once again, just because it's perfect for like the transition between the warm weather to the cooler weather, and I don't have anything like it, yet it's similar to the items I already love, AKA scubas. This is the scuba oversized short sleeve pullover. If you guys were online the day that this launched, <laughs> I was having a slight, not panic attack, but like stressing out a little bit because I'm like, I really want to try that. It looks 
so stinking cute, but for a while there, it wouldn't let me add it to my cart. Like there was an issue on the website where everything that was dropping that day didn't have SKUs made or something like that. And so when it would finally let me add it to my cart, it wouldn't let me check out. And I'm like, this thing's going to sell out before I even have a chance to buy it. <laughs> um, but I think that was happening for everybody. So I was able to snag it. I got it in this color. This is the all spice color. I love it. I also got it in the regular scuba that I'm wearing, but this is the heathered all spice. So obviously you can see the difference. This one is a lot darker, but I absolutely love it. I feel like it's the perfect copper color for the fall. If you tried their copper color last year, that is definitely more like vibrant and bright. The one thing with this, all of the scubas, I've always gotten extra small smalls just because they fit really well. I'm typically a size six. Right now, I'm kind of in between that six to eight, at least with my preferred fit. I can still fit into all my sixes, but some of the things I prefer to be a little bit bigger. So I decided to try a medium large, definitely more oversized, but I feel like with something like this, it's supposed to be very oversized, so I like it. I would recommend if you're in between sizes, go to the bigger size, especially if you're pregnant. Um, I still think it would look really cute if I wasn't, but like it's, it's supposed to be oversized, flowy, comfortable. I absolutely love it. I have nothing negative to say. I think the little slit on the side is adorable. It still has the big scuba hood and then the big flared sleeves in the half zip. I got it in this and black. I think I already mentioned that. I love both. You're gonna see me wearing both all the time. And when I was trying this on, this was by far my favorite outfit. I tried this on with, I put it over the mini flare jumpsuit you're gonna see later, but I think I'm gonna wear this with my mini flare pants, either like that hold tight tank top or something like that. This hat, another accessory I got. I've been really big into hats recently and these two, the bone in this allspice color, I just, they're great. So highly recommend trying this. It is only available in this color right now. Um, the black, it's not showing me what sizes are available in the black. Maybe the black is still available, but the, these are the only two colors at least that show up on the website. And the allspice is available in extra small, small and medium large. Speaking of scubas, this next item is, <laughs> Not new, you've heard me talk about the scuba many times. Clearly I'm wearing, wearing one right now. I have them in so many colors. It's a great staple item. I mainly wanted to review this for the color. I had a lot of you asking um, and if I could like show it in person. This is the Dahlia Mauve color. Once again, I feel like this is more of a spring summery color, but it is really cute. I definitely don't have anything like it. It's more of like that purpley pink. I still am debating on if I'm gonna keep this or not. I have a lot of pink scubas, but I, I don't have anything like this. So I might end up keeping this and maybe get rid of one of my other pink ones. I don't know, we'll see. What did you think about this color? Do you like it more than some of their other pinks? Or are you like, nah, not a fan? Once again, in these ones, I get the extra small, small. Fit really well, but you can see the difference between this and the medium large, obviously. This one fits a little bit smaller. Um, the one thing with these, I personally don't dry them. I will hang dry them after I wash them. And then I'll, once it's completely dry, I'll throw it in on tumble dry for like five minutes, just to kind of fluff it up a little bit. Um, because I do feel like I kind of am like right in between sizes, but the extra small, small always fits well. I will eventually have to try a medium large just to see how it fits in this style, but scuba oversized half zip, one of their best sellers. These are so popular now. The big hood is really nice. They have the thumb hole, obviously the half zip, and then they have the big kangaroo pockets. So not much to say. I've reviewed this, I feel like a million times, but I mainly wanted to see this color in person and I like it more than I thought I would. If you watched my last try on, you heard me talk about the steady state items. The scubas are very popular for the women and men now have the steady state line. So it's like their version of the scubas essentially. Basic cotton hoodies, crew necks, sweatpants, half zips. I reviewed all of those in the last try on if you're interested, but they came out with this one with the logo on there, which I thought was really cute. And once again, I'm here for all the full length items right now. I'm, I love the oversized sweatshirts. So 
Because this is made for men, it's very full length, which I love. I got a size large, Chris and I can share these. Um, it still fits him really well. If I got a medium, it wouldn't fit me as oversized. And if I'm gonna get something like this, I want it to look oversized. <laughs> I don't want it to be like the perfect fit. I want it to be a nice oversized sweatshirt. So if you haven't tried the steady state items, I highly recommend it. Can get it for your significant other and then be like, oh my gosh, perfect, we can share. They're great. Um, I would recommend going up a size though, like if you're just getting it for you and you want it to be oversized, these do shrink a little bit in the wash. So yeah, if you want it oversized, I would recommend going up. Since we've already been talking about all of the pullovers, layering items, jackets, whatever, we'll do this one first. I was honestly hoping <laughs> to not like this because I really don't need, I don't need another jacket, but oh my gosh, is this thing so cute and I love the color. This is the Packable Jacquard Knit Wrap in the color Medium Forest Dark Forest. So it has both of those weaving in there. It is so comfortable. It has the tighter cuff on there that still has the thumb hole. I will say, I feel like it's a little short on my arms. I do have longer arms, so thumb holes tend to pull on me a little bit, like even with the scubas. But I do feel like this one was a little bit tighter on me, so I chose not to use it. But I love having the tighter cuff in there. It has that big, like almost scuba sized hood. But the material of this is so stinking cute. The main reason I wanted to try it was because it's like an oversized jacket and I'm like, that <laughs> That could be great for me right now. And I think it's so cute. They had it in this color and in black. I was so tempted to get black, but I have like all of my jackets for the winter and fall are black. So I'm like, okay, Kelly, venture out. I love the medium forest and dark, dark forest. I have both leggings in those colors and shorts. So I figured I could do like a matching set with it and it would be very cute. They do have the buttons on here, so you can button it all the way up. I didn't show it buttoned all the way up, but then no matter what, the bottom has more of that like open flared look to it. I thought this was so cute. And once again, I was really hoping to not love it because it's $198. So it is expensive. Take that into consideration. But I feel like those of you who watch, oh, I didn't button this up, right? I feel like those of you who watch my Lululemon hauls at this point, like, you're well aware that some of the things at Lululemon are expensive, but specifically like their leggings, I always get questions about that from people who haven't tried them before. They're like, that's expensive, is it worth it? I'm like, yes, they're 100% worth it. All of the leggings I've tried, my Lulus hold up way longer than any other brand. I feel like the quality is just unmatched and they offer so many different styles, waistband lengths, um, inseam lengths, I, yeah. I just think it's super nice. So, did I need another jacket? No, um, but I think this is really cute and obviously because of the jacquard material, I feel like you can easily dress this up. It has huge pockets. There's also that same button on here. So, very nice, no zippers, all those little snaps. And I'm really glad I, I went with this color. I didn't need anything else black. <laughs> Last but definitely not least, this is the Align Zip Front Bodysuit 32 inch. Bodysuits are so popular right now. I've tried all of the ones from Lululemon previously, but they have the flare on them now, which is so cute. So these fit like the mini flares versus the groove pants. The groove pants have a very wide flare that like goes out from your knee. The mini flare is kind of tighter on your calf and then goes out. It has a little bit of a smaller flare than the groove pant, which I personally like. I also like the look of it being a little bit tighter on your calf. The only downfall I have with this, the only thing I didn't love, it doesn't have built-in padding. Can you put a sports bra underneath this? Absolutely. Um, I honestly, for this try on, I just put little sticky boobs in with it. I think that's what I would do. It was very comfortable. I wouldn't be working out in this by any means, so I don't need a sports bra, and I didn't want to like take away from the simplicity of the bodysuit itself. So a strapless bra, sticky boobs, or if you don't mind going no bra, it is double lined. Um, I thought I you could still see like the outline of my nipples <laughs> a lot, which is why I went with the sticky boobs, but it's so comfortable. I got a size six. Definitely fits very true to size, um, especially because there's no built-in bra in there. There's no band that like, you're risking like digging into your ribs or anything. 
So I would go with your true tank top or legging size. If you're between sizes, I would go with your legging size, just because you obviously don't want the legs to be too tight. I think that would be kind of uncomfortable. And then once again, there's not that bra where you're risking it digging in or anything. So I would go with your bottom size if you're in between sizes. Their Align material is obviously that Nulu material, very buttery soft, intended for yoga, low impact workouts. Um, but this is like a very day-to-day -day casual piece. I guess that's the one benefit to this not having the bra. It does make it a lot easier to get on and off. Like if you have to go to the bathroom, getting the other Align bodysuit off, <laughs> getting the sports bra part over my hips. And then whenever I bring it back up, it messes up my underwear a little bit. And then sometimes the cups will get messed up. You're not gonna have that you're not gonna have that issue with this one. So I definitely like this a lot. When I saw it on the website, I was like, I gotta try that, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but I got my size six, true size, fit really well. The top fits like a normal Align tank without the padding. And then just if you were to add this zipper, the zipper is very sturdy. I was worried about that. I worry about that with any front zip items, but it still fits snug on me, but it didn't feel like it was gonna come open or anything like that. If you are really worried about that, you could wear a sports bra underneath. Like I, I think a free to be wild would look cute to have the extra straps in the back. I thought this was super cute. This is my first bodysuit that has the flare and I thought it was really flattering. We're doing it. My camera's about to run out of battery. Last but definitely not least, these are both baller hats. This is the logo. I'll link these in the description with the other items, but I thought these fit so well. The allspice color is beautiful. Their baller hat, in my opinion, I think fits the best. I tend to have a smaller head, <laughs> but these ones fit really well. They're nice and lightweight. They're not too thick. And I, those colors right now, obviously are just like very fall. They're beautiful, but that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Once again, I will have everything listed and linked down below. If you have any questions, comment down below, reach out to me on Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video.